Did you know that a Muslim man from Morocco once got lost in Texas, was enslaved by Native Americans for four years, and then escaped by pretending to be a witch doctor? You see, it was 1526 and the age of exploration was in full swing. European empires were sending ships to the newly discovered Americas to conquer land and establish trade routes, and the King of Spain wanted in on the action. He sent an explorer by the name of Panfilo de Narvaez to gather an army and to set sail for the New World. And on June 17, 1527, he left Spain with 600 sailors, soldiers, and slaves. And one of those slaves happened to be a Muslim by the name of Mustafa Ez Zemuri from Morocco, who was brought along for the expedition and after two months at sea they made it to the Caribbean where they landed on an island. And while they were there they heard of another expedition that was recently returning back to Spain with two-thirds of the crew dead. And when they heard that a hundred of them just deserted the mission, just like that. But the remaining crew persisted and they set sail landing in Cuba temporarily and sending out a fleet of small boats to a nearby settlement to collect supplies and horses. But then a hurricane arrived sinking the boats, killing 60 men and destroying all of the supplies they had gathered. And at this point the crew was down to around 400 people. Their supplies were depleting and they hadn't even made it to America yet. Things were not looking good. Eventually through storms and strong winds they barely managed to reach Florida. Mustafa went ashore with 300 other men and the remaining 100 were sent in ships to scout the coast and find a harbor to dock at. The ships were lost to sea and were never seen from again. The crew now were on their own and marched for two weeks in near starvation until they found a native village. And of course the Spanish enslaved them and took all their corn. They continued to march until they came across another village and occupied it. But this time the village they attacked was being protected by a large tribe of natives. And when they heard what had happened they sent hundreds of warriors to attack the Spanish. The Spanish rushed to the coasts and had to build makeshift boats to escape in while at the same time fending off the natives. And Mustafa, a slave himself, was stuck in the middle of all this. When the boats were ready they got in and sailed west along the coast until once again a storm hit them, killing all but about 80 of them. For the next four years Mustafa and the crew lived in southern Texas, enslaved by one of the local tribes and caught in the middle of a war between natives. And one by one the crew perished until there was only four left. Mustafa and the other three managed to escape captivity and traveled west on foot, walking for hundreds of miles. And during this time they began working as medicine men. And because of this the locals began treating them with honor and providing them with food and shelter and gifts for their journey. Often the villagers from one village would escort them to the next with up to 3,000 people marching alongside them. They then marched south trying to find any other explorers who had settlements in Mexico at the time. And after four years of walking they finally made it to Caliacan where they found a Spanish settlement there. Imagine an Arab speaking Muslim and three Spanish conquistadors dressed up like witch doctors and being paraded through the forests by the natives. The Spanish there just stared at them in shock. They were told to walk another thousand miles south to Mexico City where they arrived in July of 1536. When Mustafa told the Spaniards there about the eight years he had just lived and the things he had seen, they asked him to guide an expedition to those lands. The other three crew refused and Mustafa led the expedition on his own, traveling alongside a group of native Indians ahead of the Spaniards. When he entered the village of Kawiko in 1539, he disappeared without a trace. And the natives that had accompanied him said, that the villagers killed him. Some say he was killed because the locals thought he was an evil sorcerer, some say because they thought he wasn't a real medicine man, and others say he didn't die at all and he just wanted to escape the Spaniards. In the end no one knows for sure what happened, but the stories he told eventually became the legend of El Dorado and the seven cities of gold, which would cause many more expeditions to follow. Like and follow for more Muslim facts.